Now at 5.30, a CBS 4 News exclusive. A man is led away in cuffs, but this is no ordinary suspect. Tonight, police are calling this guy the dumb criminal. Good evening, I'm Eric Avantio. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Criminals usually try to cover their tracks, not leaving behind anything that would help police catch them. But this apparently was not the case with an accused car burglar who did not learn that lesson. CBS 4's Peter Dench is in Miami with our exclusive report. Miami-Dade Schools police say the burglar tried to break into at least five cars here in this parking lot a block away from school board headquarters. They can't believe what he left behind. They say he was not a Rhodes Scholar. <laughs> he was no smart enough. <laughs> school board accountant Hugo Garcia is talking about 21-year-old Kevin Mike Rosenbert. Rosenbert's accused of targeting his car and those of other school board Any employees. Any standing at all? Rosenbert has the like dubious distinction of being dubbed the dumb criminal by the Miami-Dade School's police chief after he left his own driver's license seen here at the crime scene. It's a very dumb move on a criminal to do that because basically by doing this he basically assisted us in on his own apprehension. And a dumb move seemed dumber, police say, because Rosenberg is on probation for crimes including attempted robbery with a firearm and attempted murder, offenses that happened when he was a juvenile. You, you have to ask yourself, dumb on two accounts. You know, dumb on, on, on bringing a license uh, when you're going to commit the crime, and then certainly doing that when you're under such strict uh, sanctions such as probation. These are individuals who are, who are, who are serving their community through their school district, uh, and, and, and while they're in there working, their vehicles are getting burglarized. That's just, that's terrible. And the victims who park in this lot are grateful. Rosenberg's behind bars. Well, I'm very satisfied now, the fact that now we can park more safety in the work environment. I'm glad they caught the guy. Uh, it's less people that we have terrorizing this area. Our detectives have worked so hard uh, on this case and many others uh, during the last few months and closed out several uh, cases. Rosenberg's been charged with breaking into the cars and will face questions very soon from a judge because he's on probation. Now, he has admitted to being in this parking lot, but he has denied burglarizing the vehicles. In Miami, Peter Dance, CBS 4 News.